Talking behind people's backs. Why is it so bad? Well, other than the obvious reasons of treating others as you would want to be treated, and I don't think any of you would like to be talked behind your back in a negative way, at least. Um, but I'm going to give you some of the not so obvious reasons. And number one being by talking behind someone else's back, not directly to them, not only are you, um, you're not acknowledging the source of the problem, but in the meantime, you are getting a sense of release. You are relieving yourself of this resentment or judgment or whatever it may be that you have towards another friend to another person, to other than the source that where it needs to be solved. And by doing this, you are much less likely to go up to the person directly and let them know how you feel, which if done correctly and authentically and with transparency, it can be a very intimate, um, a very intimate connection, one that can bring your relationship to new levels. So maybe it's your best friend, something happened, you guys got into an argument, a fight or whatever, and you go talk to your mom about it, or maybe your other best friend or sister or whatever. And by doing this, you are now, you're relieving yourself, which needs to happen because as human beings, we are going to, of course, have these resentments. It's just a part of life. And we want to rid ourselves of them. We need to release ourselves of them. And I'm encouraging you to release it directly towards the source of the issue, where it was created, towards the person you're feeling this towards. Because if you do it to another person, you're, um, you're going to be, you're going to feel satisfied. You're going to feel less motivated to acknowledge the actual problem. And, or you may take it out on people in an unfair way. Maybe if it's not just talking about it in a casual conversation with a friend, a best friend, mom, a uh, coworker, or whatever, it may be, uh, maybe you abuse your pets. Maybe your dog spilt the water in the kitchen and you kick your dog in the head because your best friend uh, lied to you and now you're taking your anchor out on your dog or I, I watched this uh, the best movie of the year last year I think it was called 12 years 12 years a slave or 12 years a prisoner with Brad Pitt and um, and I was it just was a reminder to me of how crazy slavery is when people would have these slaves and they would beat their slaves to nearly death they would beat them so hard with so much anger and frustration and do you actually think that they were that mad at their slaves? These people that would work for them all day long, these, these people that uh, these guys paid good money for to work for them, to slave over their every desire. Do you think they had that much anger towards these people? I don't think so. I think they had a source of frustration or anger. Maybe it was with themselves or maybe it was with their wives or something in their life that they were not uh, directing their frustration towards. So in result, it came out on their slaves and almost caused near death for these people. Um, and that's another point of this, is when you start talking behind people's backs, you're relieving yourself, but a lot of times it, it gets worse than that. Sometimes you don't even talk about anyone. Maybe you just hold it all in. You hold it all in to the point where you can't hold it on, you can't hold it in any longer. And maybe it comes out in some just huge explosion that doesn't make any sense. Have you ever got really mad or has someone ever really got extremely angry at you and you're just like, whoa, like where is this coming from? Like what is going on here? This makes no sense. Most likely it's an unexpressed resentment coming out in some weird indirect way towards you that it should have not really even been held in this person that long to begin with, but now it's just coming out in some weird wacky way. Um, another, uh, and we believe, this might be a little far out. <laughs> This might be a little far out for you guys, but what I believe, what me and my brothers actually believe is that these unexpressed resentments are so powerful, they're so negatively powerful, that we believe they will, they, if held in long enough, that they can and will manifest themselves in physical ailments, such as diseases or maybe tumors or um, diabetes or whatever it may be. Holding on to these things are so bad, and it's so unnecessary. It's eating away you, and uh, I don't know if you've ever heard the quote that resentment is like a, is, uh, ah, I forget the quote, it's something about uh, holding on to resentment, the only person you're hurting is, oh, swallowing, no, <laughs> I'm tripping up on my words here, but it goes like this, it goes, um, 
Yeah, resentment is like swallowing a poisonous pill and expecting it to hurt someone else. There's something like that. I forget I forget how the quote goes, but you get the idea. That you were hurt, you were doing the most damage to yourself. So back to the point at hand, stop talking behind people's backs, go directly to the source when it comes up. Try not let try not to put it on the back burner and let it fester in you and, and get worse and worse. Just you feel it, go express it to the person. Don't relieve yourself on other people that don't even need to be hearing it. I do it, everyone does it. It's, uh, it's, it's very easy and safe to do, to go release yourself on other people when you should be directly um, acknowledging the source. So, don't talk behind people's backs. You don't want that, I don't want that, and uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs>